Well, hello everybody, this is Connell. I just had uh, the battery pack on my original um, Excalibur 800, which I've had now for 18 years. Um, although I did upgrade it some eight years ago to an Excalibur 2 metal hydrite battery, um, that battery just um, started acting up on me. Now, I was getting so that, I mean, as, if you have an Excalibur 2 with a metal hydrite, you know, you can get 10, 12 hours out of it before recharging. And um, I never would allow it go that far, but uh, I'd get down about six, eight hours and I'd recharge it. Well, suddenly it was getting so it'd go about three hours and then I'd start getting some loud back feed and about a minute later I'd get some more back feed and then 30 seconds later I'd get more back feed and then 15 seconds more back feed and eventually I lost it totally. The uh, battery was just going dead and I'd charge it. <clears throat> so anyway, <clears throat> I knew I had a problem. I've got two Excaliburs uh, to, to run because it always seems like something's going wrong with them. So I ordered a uh, Excalibur 2 um, battery pack, metal hydrate. And if you have looked for one of these, you know that um, they're fair traded at $165 a piece, no matter where you buy them. So anyway, I bought one. I got to have it. But then I ended up with that battery that I uh, took off. Um, here it is right here. This is the container. I have taken the actual battery pack out of here. And in comes the battery. This just came in. Um, I'm pretty sure it's gonna fit, they say it will. So I'm gonna turn this thing around and I'm gonna set it up and let's put this thing back together. By the way, this cost me $35 for this pack and um, $9 worth of shipping. So about 45 hours, a lot better than the 165 to get a brand new one. But let's, let's, let me put this together and maybe you can save you some money. Okay. Here's this battery pack that I just got. Um, Never use a lot of trickle charging, uh, overheat the battery, higher rates. Um, I have a automatic uh, charger that I got for the metal hydrate. Now they recommend that you kind of like this because with the other one, this nine volt battery hookup was back here. They had four down, four down the side and then two on the top and this little flat spot that would be back in here was where they put this connector and you have this wire that ran all the way down into there to hook it on and you had to pull it out with a wire with this one they give you this nice little thing to go out uh, this cord to pull it out we have to pull it back out again so anyway they say what we got to do is lubricate up these sides here So they fit in there. I'm trying this for the first time with you, so I mean, let's, we're going to find out if it works or not, right? The desk is bad. Got a thing to keep it all dry. Let's try, let's try putting this down the side. Okay, that works. that desk could pack, could pack it down the side the little triangular sides there that'll save you some problems okay now where's that screw hole there it is okay I see something here that will help us you look down the front of here, see these, see this? 
that's where those screw holes are. Just got to line them up. See if you get them all right, it goes right, doesn't it? Got to be smarter than a set screw in the cap you're trying to put on a piece of plastic. And that's all it is. You just, you just got to be a little bit smarter than that is. See, this is way taking too way too long. But there she goes. There she goes. There she goes. Tight over. Tight the other side. There it is. Now I'm going to check it. Let's see if what they were putting out for battery. Okay, I'm back. Your local clutch is back. Okay, now these batteries should be putting out um, about well, they're 12 volt batteries, which means they'll be putting out close to 14. This has just come from right from the factory. It's been charged up, and as you can see there, it's putting out 12.91 volts. So it's working okay. Now, obviously, you have to charge it up, but um, <clears throat> my rebuild has worked. Now the last thing that we got to do is put this little plastic cap on. Now what I have here is a uh, Lexel uh, uh, elastic sealant for every job. Uh, you can use GE silicone also. And this is like basically the first line of defense for um, sealing up, uh, not allowing water to get into um, our unit so I'm and it's also by the way not very an excellent uh, adhesive I was having trouble toward the end here with this one and it was uh, coming off all the time and by the way a little hint when you're working with this G stuff or uh, wax on put a little water in your finger now see that here's where the, if the water can get in in here right in the crack um, the first uh, second line is the uh, O-ring, which we put some dielectric grease on it. And then any moisture that does get in there, the uh, desiccant paint will do it. But, but let's, this is recommended because this will seal and seal that all together. <clears throat> and of course now... Some of this G dialyte grease. And guess what? I've rebuilt this metal hydrate battery back that was eight years old and was not putting out the 12 volts because it had a couple bad cells in it and rebuild it for um, 
uh, could replace it for 165 hours and I rebuilt it for a lot less than that. Now let's talk expense. I'm going to come over here and sit down. <clears throat> My easy chair. So okay. This is a pretty simple rebuild. Um, first of all, you're going to need a, a set screw. I said this before, and this is a five or five sixty fourths. It's the smallest one in this particular set. You do not have to buy the set. You can just go get the common Allen set wrench uh, for a couple bucks at your well store. Um, get yourself some dielectric. Um, grease so, sold by Napa I think it was I think it was around three dollars four dollars somewhere in there uh, I've used it for a couple three years well you're going to use it all the time besides putting this thing together you're going to use it uh, on your connectors that, that connect up here because uh, you have to seal that and also you don't want any <clears throat> water to get into this connectors and then of course you're going to have to have a GE silicone or this little XL cell phone. That's it. Um, took me a little longer than what I expected because I uh, was thought I was going to rebuild it totally, but uh, in the long end, I found out it's, it's easier just to buy that battery pack from this uh, all battery. Uh, only battery packs incorporated in Sussex, Wisconsin. And uh, this particular thing that's in here is called a Max M A X X pack that they put together for a 35 hour and then your shipping. So I hope you can save yourself a lot of time. And uh, they got the batteries to me after I ordered it in two days. Um, you, you, I don't think you even have to spend the 165 hours for a second pack. Uh, if your battery goes down, just um, order it and uh, rebuild it. Good luck and good hunting. I hope you get some good stuff.